Hello everybody and thank you for joining me. This is Sierra from Sierra T Designs and today I have a rainbow butterfly thankful card I'm going to share with you. So let's jump right in. So I'm going to create this little panel here. Now this is unnecessary because I am going to fussy cut the heart out later but I did cut this down. I believe it was five inches by four four inches I think that's what it was uh, because it's the size of the stencil that I'm going to use and I have the Simon Says Stamp Butterfly Love stencil and you can see here that I kind of sized that to fit that stencil but like I said it the size of this panel is not going to be relevant once we uh, move on to um, the, the making of this card but at the time I thought that I was going to do something specific and I kind of had to pivot a bit as we went through making the card so uh, I had to change my mind a few times here. So I have that stencil. I've used some mint tape to just adhere it down to my piece of cardstock. And then I'm going to blend on several colors of Distress Oxide ink. I have picked raspberry, carved pumpkin, squeezed lemonade, cracked pistachio, mermaid lagoon, and wilted violet. And I'm just going to go through them and blend them with the small blending brushes from the Simon Says Stamp. So this card came about because Thanksgiving was Monday. If you guys are Canadian, you, you'd know that uh, Thanksgiving was on Monday. But yeah, so I like to reflect on all the things that I'm really thankful for when Thanksgiving happens. And um, these, this YouTube channel is definitely something that I am incredibly thankful for. It's a lot of work, um, but it's also a lot of fun and very rewarding in many ways. So this card is for you guys. This is uh, like a thanks to everybody who comes by and leaves me a comment and leaves me a like and watches the video and interacts with me and and you know everything that anybody is doing is I'm just very very thankful for it so this card is for you guys it is my um my thank you for everything that you've you've done for my channel regardless of what it was even if you stop by to watch a minute of a few videos or one video or anything that you do helps me um, grow this channel and I just really want to share my appreciation for everything that you guys do so this one's for you and I just really want to thank you for all of the support I've gotten from everybody um, I have some amazing people who comment on every video and I know who you are I, I look forward to your names every time I do a new video and I look forward to what you you want to tell me about whatever um, you've been up to or whatever you want to share or everything like I just I love hearing from you guys this is hopefully going to be a community that um, you guys can kind of interact with me and get to know me as a person and we can share our creations together so I just wanted to put that out there so you guys knew that I was very thankful for you. So I washed the stencil off and then I brought it back and I did adhere it back in the exact same place and just put more mint tape on it. And then I brought some iridescent glitz glitter gel in and I just kind of wiped it across the top of the stencil. Be aware if you're going to do this that uh, oxide inks, of course, are water reactive. That is one of the most amazing things about Distress products. Uh, so you do have to be a bit careful the um, iridescent will pick up some of the color as I'm kind of wiping it across the top. So I don't put what I used back in the jar. I actually had to toss it because it was tinted yellow. So I didn't show you there, but I just put it on a baby wipe and then threw it in the trash because sadly it was tinted yellow and shouldn't go back into my container. But you also see that I used some Glad Press and Seal there to close my container so that I didn't have to worry about air getting in. I've had this jar open now for over a year and I've had no issues with it ever being dry. So I do think that that's a necessary thing if you like to use pastes or, or any of those kind of that kind of a texture I find that that uh, press and seal is really necessary and then I run through my lacy layers dies these are by waffle flowers this is the a2 set I also own the slimline set because I'm in love with them um, and I just really wanted to add some interesting background to this card no, honestly, this card took a lot of different turns as I was making it. Originally, I had no intention of bringing in those lacy layers. Uh, I was just going to have that panel kind of as I have it trimmed here. And then later I decided that I wanted to prop up the heart. Uh, so I ended up fussy cutting it because I don't have a heart that shape. So I kind of had to pivot a few times throughout this card. Who else thinks of friends when I say pivot? Just, just side note there, because every time Ross yelling pivot, that just makes me think of it. Anyway, uh, side note there, right? Um, so I brought in the uh, Simon Says Stamp um, etched butterfly die, and I had a little bit of issues cutting it out. One of the pieces of the wing kind of stuck. I'm still figuring out my sandwich for my switch. I'm very new to the switch, so... I'm still kind of working through what layers I need and what, what parts of the sandwich I need. So I, I needed to have like the thin shim that you put with very um, 
intricate dies and I didn't have it so I didn't use it and I should have so I just trimmed that little piece off of the wing that got stuck on the um, vellum that I had and that's just a pearlescent vellum by um, Lawn Fawn and then the center of the butterfly I did just in that same white cardstock that I've been using for this whole thing which was hammer mill by the way um, hammer mill is kind of my favorite cardstock for everything I use it for darn near everything because it's Copic safe and it's a decent weight and it's not crazy expensive so it ends up it's not my basis it's not quite heavy enough for that um but I use it for pretty much everything else uh so I used a piece of hammer mill cut the center of the butterfly out so that it would be white and then used that uh, lawn fawn pearlescent vellum for the wings and then here you can see that I'm just going to fussy cut around the heart super easy to fussy cut because I choose to leave a white border you don't have to um but I find that it just I like that look, uh, so I do tend to prefer it when I'm fussy cutting things, but I mean, completely up to what you prefer. You could cut right next to that Glitz Glitter Gel if that's something you prefer. And then I brought in one of the Simons' stamp uh, label sheets and the label dies, and I'm going to cut out that truly blessed sentiment, which I do think that I am. So I thought it was really fitting for this card and I'm also going to run that through my switch so that it can cut it out there. You don't need the die. You could have brought in some scissors. It's just that I own them and I'm trying really hard to use the things that I own instead of having them just sit around. So I am kind of trying to go through things that I don't use very often or I kind of forgot that I had and I'm kind of trying to use them. So this um, stencil was actually one of those things. I actually forgot I owned it, which is shocking because it's beautiful, but I had bought it from Simon a while ago and uh, it sat in my bucket of things that I need to use and I forgot about it. So I'm kind of trying to go through that bucket and use up some of those things that are sitting there so that they're getting some love because otherwise what's the point? Um, so then I'm going to adhere this lacy layer panel down just flat on my card um, with my Nouveau Deluxe glue. I jumped between my glues here. You don't need to. I just did because I own a different couple of different things of glue so you saw me use my barely art glue earlier and uh, now I'm using my new nouveau deluxe glue and then I'm gonna jump into some big mama foam tape here in a minute just because I wanted to uh, prop that heart up a little bit so I also use my reverse tweezers a lot when I have something kind of delicate that I'm struggling to have adhere so because this is adhering over that glitz glitter gel I did use my reverse tweezers just to kind of create um, like to push that down a little bit better so that it was actually going to adhere to that gel. And then here's my big roll of Big Mama foam tape. I've had this roll for a long time and I don't, I wouldn't say I use it often, but for how long I've owned it, it lasts because it's so thin, like it's almost misleading um, because the the foam is so thin, it doesn't look like, you know, it would last that long, but it it's by far my favorite foam tape. And if you guys have watched my channel for a while, you'd know that because I say that I think every time I use it, I just, I have a hard time not singing it praises just because it's so amazing. But, and then I use my reverse, my reverse tweezers just to remove the tape that's kind of holding on the, the stick there. And then I'm going to adhere it down to the center of that lacy layer panel. So yeah, if you were Canadian, what did you do for Thanksgiving? And if you're not Canadian, if you're American, um, what did you get to up to on Monday? I'd love to hear either direction what you were doing for Monday. Um, Monday I spent with my parents, my husband and I went down to hang out with my parents and we got to have a lovely turkey dinner and, um, mom made uh this really fun I'm not actually sure what the name was but it was like a whipped cream and custard dessert um it's very good I got to bring some home so my husband and I have been eating it here the last couple of days but uh she made this it was it was really interesting she didn't ask me what I wanted this year so she just kind of made this fun dessert that uh, we're still enjoying so that was pretty cool and then uh I spent the night and I took um our new rescue uh, we've named him Oreo to the vet so that he could be fixed. Um, yeah, so that was kind of my my Thanksgiving. It was a lot of fun to see my family. I'm very close with them. So spending any time with them is always amazing. Um, yeah, and then that's pretty much it. Now I'm at home and back to work. So I've just finished my 10 hour shift and now I'm doing this voiceover so I can get this video out to you guys tomorrow morning because I am behind as per <laughs> usual lately. Uh, but yeah, so it's pretty good. I'd love to know what you guys have been up to this week so far. So then I brought in some vanilla luster sequins. These are by Studio Katia. You guys know I love their sequins. Um, and I just kind of adhered them across the panel to add a little bit of extra shimmer and shine. And because I did have a little bit of ink smearing on the big butterfly where that first sequin went, so I kind of masked that so you couldn't really tell that there was any issues there. And then I'm going to hold this up so you guys can enjoy it in all of its lustrous beauty. I am a, a really big fan of how this card came out, even though I had to pivot a few times to kind of make this come together. But 
thank you guys so much for all of the support you have given me and all of the comments and all the likes and all of everything that you've left for my channel. I greatly appreciate you. So that is the card I have for you guys today. I will be back again on Monday with my week three of my 12 weeks of Christmas series. I cannot wait to see you then. Bye-bye for now, guys.